Good morning. Who's richer? A billionaire who puts in $500 million or a poor, destitute street person, a woman who, who puts in two pennies, but it's, it's like all that she has. Today we're looking at Mark chapter 12, verse 41 through 44. Now Jesus sat opposite the treasury and saw how the people put money into the treasury, and many who were rich put in much. Then one poor widow came and threw in two mites, which make a quadrants. So he called his disciples to himself and said to them, Assuredly, I say to you that this poor widow has put in more, more than all those who have given to the treasury. For they all put in out of their abundance, but she out of her poverty put in all that she had, her whole livelihood. So here's the picture. We, we have sort of a picture of what it was like there. It was in the temple, uh, the courtyard of the women in the temple, and there were, th there were these colonnades uh, around with a money box, and people could put, put their money in and drop it in there. And Jesus, he's situated himself uh, there. He's looking at this whole process of giving your offering, and he's watching it, and he's got his disciples gathered there, and he's, he's very intentional about this. So here come these rich people, and it says many of them came, and they put in their money, and you know how it probably was, how it is with rich, some rich people anyway. Uh, they were, some of them were probably dropping their money and just, just as loudly as they could. But here's this woman off to the side, and she catches Jesus' eye. She's looking for a quiet time when she can sort of dart out there and put her little tiny pittance in. She feels very humble. And so Jesus is watching, and here's how this sort of begins to develop. So finally she sees an opening, and Jesus, we can sort of imagine what it was like. He says to his disciples, hey, hey, watch this, guys. And so they all kind of perk up and watch what happens, and she scoots over, drops in her two coins. Jesus had to be close enough to see the, the, the tiny coins she had, so he wasn't too far away. She drops in her two coins, looks around, and boom, she's out of there. And Jesus takes his disciples aside, and he says, okay, guys, listen to this. And he's going to teach them about this. And we read it in the text. So Jesus makes the lesson. You know, it was obvious by her appearance she was absolutely destitute. She had basically nothing, and she put in all that she had. And so Jesus draws the lesson. The rich people had, had money and to spare, but she put in everything that, that she was capable of putting in. And so who put in the big offering? Well, the, the one that shows up on paper is, you know, really big. Counting up really big was the rich people. But Jesus tells his disciples she put in more than all of them. And so there's a lesson here for us. So if she gave out of all that she had, then that was, that was surely the largest offering given of the day. And it raises the question to you and me. How, are we giving to God? Are we giving to Him uh, out of what we have left over after we buy the things that we want to buy? Are we just giving God some of the leftovers just a little bit because, you know, we're supposed to do it? Or are we giving to God out of uh, our poverty? Are we giving to God sacrificially? It's, it's a question of how large your offering really is, how useful it is to the king, something to think about for ourselves, the widow's two mites. But not just the widow's two mites out there somewhere, but it's coming to our heart. What about your heart and mine? Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for uh, this incident. Thank you that Jesus singled out this situation and, and, and made a point of it. We find that's useful for us. We're very selfish and we need your help, Lord, to become unselfish. Thank you for this lesson. May we each apply it to our hearts. Help us to know how to be faithful, Lord, with the gifts that you give to us. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So that's the question for you and me. Maybe a particular concrete application. Are you, are you up to date in returning tithe and giving offerings through your local church that you're a member of? If you're not, let me just encourage you, this Sabbath, make, plan ahead. This Sabbath, go and, and make it right. God be with you. Have a wonderful day today serving the Lord Jesus. Hey, just a reminder that YouTube ranks these by, by the subscriptions, the comments you put in, and, and when it's watched. So if you want this to rise up in the search ranking so that other people find these devotionals and have an opportunity to click on it and watch it, you know what to do.